I'm Tree, and this is the supplement, which is a subsect of Project Transparency, where I talk about things that I like, and things that I've gotten, and things I'm enjoying, and things I'm watching, and reading, and booktubes, and haul videos, and the entire shebang. It's a supplement. Get it? I'm not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Um, plus, I still don't know what to call these things, so the supplement is what it's going to be until I think of something better. And for those of you who are coming to my YouTube channel with a supplement video instead of a Project Transparency video, the Project Transparency videos are me talking about my art practice and what's going on in contemporary art at the moment and stuff and things. Stuff and things related to my art practice practice. The supplement is basically everything else that's exciting. So I've chosen a theme for my sketchbook project um, that I'm doing. The sketchbook project is something that's done out of Brooklyn, New York and their art book library there. And basically you sign up and you get a sketchbook like this and you fill it up and you send it back to them and then it goes on tour. So yes, this is what my sketchbook will be in. And the theme I've chosen is bows and arrows. So if you have any interesting bow and arrow images or anything, send them to me, leave me links in the comments. Find me on Tumblr or Twitter or my Facebook page. Leave me things and they might end up in the sketchbook. I may or may not already have an entire morg of bow and arrow related images. <whistles> related to the sketchbook project with the theme of bows and arrows, I found little suction cup arrow magnets. These are cool. They work very well too. So. Seems fortuitous, yeah? I may have also found a flower crown because I'm not so secretly a hipster sometimes. I like it. I also found a speech bubble. Little chalkboard speech bu bubble. Seriously? What's there to not like about this? I suppose it should be like this. <laughs> I like it. Weird things I find make me happy. And Lane, you'll be interested in these. I found polymer eraser pencil ends. You know, the, the, the white Mars erasers that we all love from art school? They come in pencil ends now. I might be a little bit in love with them. This week, because Guardians of the Galaxy came out, and because I just restarted the Banff Woman Superhero series at the Hub again, I've been reading Guardians of the Galaxy, like the comic books uh, from the War of the Kings and the Realm of the King story arcs, and they're okay. These are definitely... The, the movie Guardians are definitely not the Guardians of the comics. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing since, you know, the movie's taking out some of the really problematic, gross backgrounds that these characters have and giving them a new life. Although I do think it would have been nice to have had Mantis, Philavel, and Moondragon in the new Guardians movie. But deep mythology is kind of deep, and it might have been too deep for Marvel to just, you know, tackle when they haven't even introduced Ca Captain Marvel yet. There'll be a link to my review of Guardians of the Galaxy as well as my Banff Woman Superhero meta on Gamora in the drawer. But yeah, 26 issues. That was commitment. And I wasn't necessarily thrilled to the moon either. They were fine. They just weren't great. Not enough Gamora. I did enjoy Rocket and Groot though, but I have a tendency to be emotionally compromised by the talking ficus and the snarktastic raccoon. So I have made a tactical error because I started watching the second season of Hemlock Grove. Yeah. 
Weird is weird is weird is still incredibly problematic. So, you know, good to know it hasn't really changed that much. I, I still think it has the one of the most interesting transformation sequences for a werewolf ever, though. I kind of need all the Adventure Time everything, like, now. Why does Netflix only have two seasons of it? The first episode of Avengers Assemble is annoying? I, I'm sorry, it's like Tony is a lot of things. He has many faults. Oh my god, does the man have faults. But he's not a hothead who doesn't plan, and he's not unintelligent. And that was basically Tony all over that episode, and no. As much as other parts of it were really good, Tony was making me really angry. What I've watched of Young Justice is fun, and I'm eagerly awaiting the new seasons of Sleepy Hollow and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A lot of that might be because it means that Extant, Dominion, and Teen Wolf will be over for the season. If you haven't read my reviews of them over at the Hub, there'll be links to them, because I am not necessarily the most thrilled person ever with any of those shows right now. But I'm also really excited for Gotham. Gotham Central, the, the comic book series that it's being more based off of rather than, like, Catwoman or Batman or whatever, was a really, really good comic book series. And yeah, I, I, I'm excited for that, especially if they bring in Renee Montoya. And I'm excited for The Flash, too, which probably means that I need to watch Arrow. Unfortunately, the first season of Arrow makes me really cranky because, oh my god, the voiceover is unnecessary. This is not the X-Files and you are not Mulder. So, Lane, you asked me to wreck you some apps because you relatively recent, recently got an iPhone. And I got one last week. I like him. He's my friend. His name is Rodney. But I've had an iPad for years, so I'm pretty, you know well aware of apps for i things so my absolute favorite game on my ipad or my iphone right now is two dots it's kind of like a puzzle game like candy crush except you connect dots that's what you do when you know you drop things or get a certain amount of the things and it like sing song chimes to you when you connect all the dots together and the art is really kind of minimal and graphic and very hipster and very pretty and there is very little about this game that I do not like right now even though I'm stuck in a level also it's ridiculously supportive of you whether you win or lose it's free get it love it a perennial favorite app of mine is Evernote because writer and because researcher cross-platform, cross-device, and makes notebooks and notes, and you can interconnect them via tags, and it's amazing and you should get it. And because artist, Procreate is currently my favorite drawing app for the iPad. It's like six bucks, something like that, and it uses layers, and it has a lot of control. It exports things to Ping and JPEG and PSD, and it's basically like Photoshop Lite on your iPad. And that's my excitement for the week, Lane. Bye. That was exciting.